As Yang Seo's father accepts Si Young Hoon. Episode 12 of Business Proposal begins with Chairman Jin calling Si Young Hoon to ask him to break up with Young Seo, but keep it a secret from her. But Young Seo overhears this. Though she pretends she's fine, Si Young Hoon can't tell this deeply upsets her. As they move get along with Harai's parents. Harai's mother is suspicious of Harai's whereabouts last night. When she sees Taemu drop her daughter off in the morning, she scolds both of them. When she calms down, everyone has lunch together to celebrate Young Seo's birthday. Taemu says he wants to date and marry Harai. Her parents worry about the scandal that would ensue due to their low social status. Taemu speaks with Harai's father privately. He asks Taemu to protect Harai so that she doesn't suffer so much gossip and scandal. Taemu promises to do everything he can. Do Harai and Minwoo make amends? Harai meets Minwoo for tea. He also apologizes on behalf of Yura. He confesses that they were never right for each other, and he never plans to date her again. Minwoo now has plans to travel the world. He asks Harai if they could be close friends again after he returns, and she says that might take some time. They shake hands, saying goodbye. The Young Seo and Si Young Hoon break up. After Chairman Jin demands that Si Young Hoon break up with Young Seo, she goes to see her father. It's not to go along with his wishes, however. Instead, she hands him her resignation. Later, Si Young Hoon cooks Young Seo a proper birthday meal. Now that she's resigned, she wants to start her own company. Si Young Hoon wants to invest if she can come up with a proper business plan, and he surprises her with a large sum of money. Does Chairman Kang have a heart attack? While Harai and Taemu are at work, Taemu gets a call from someone saying that his grandfather collapsed. The person never hangs up, so Taemu overhears the chairman laughing. He is simply scheming to get Taemu to come to the hospital. So, Harai goes to the hospital instead, hoping the chairman can come to like her if they spend some time together. He orders her out, but she stays to help him get around. She brings him tea, watches TV with him, sings. It seems that Chairman Kang enjoys her company, but he doesn't show it to Harai. Later, the doctor tells Taemu it's a good thing his grandfather came in for a checkup. They caught some serious heart issues that they can't treat in Korea. As Taemu leave Harai for the United States, Taemu tells Harai he has to take his grandfather to the States to get the treatment he needs. He asks her to come with him, but she refuses. She thinks there would be too many rumors surrounding such a situation and doesn't want him to get hurt. Additionally, the chairman is their most important concern right now. He doesn't like her, so she thinks she should stay out of the way. They decide not to break up, but they won't see each other for a while. He asks her to wait for him. What happens one year later? One year later, Harai is still working for her food development team. Ms. Yeo and Mr. Jai are now married and competitively work opposite each other. Si Young Hyun has taken the year off to be with Young Seo and help her with her business. Taemu has been working at the New York branch for a year, while Chairman Kang still receives treatment. He and Harai video chat, but he leaves in the middle of the call to take care of work. Later, Harai sees an article claiming a romance between Taemu and another woman. SBS's hit drama Business Proposal has wrapped up its run earlier today, here is its ending explained. Did Harai's parents approve of Taemu? Yes, they did. At first, Harai's mother was a bit upset to see her daughter coming out of Taemu's car in the morning, so she hid him. But he introduced himself to them and the mother apologized. The father seemed a bit apprehensive because he feared his daughter would be looked at differently and judged, but Taemu assured him he'll do his best and never leave her side. He tells them he'd like to date her with marriage in mind. Did Taemu's grandpa pass away? While the grandpa initially fakes a health scare to get Taemu to break up with Harai, the doctor runs a couple of tests and discovers the grandpa has an issue with heart from a previous surgery. The grandpa is too old to have any more surgeries, but there is a potential cure in America. So, the grandpa and Taemu end up leaving there together. The grandpa eventually receives treatment and recovers a year later. Did Harai leave with Taemu to the US? No, she refuses to come along. Taemu tries to convince her to leave with him while he takes care of his grandpa, but she says it's better if she stays behind. The grandpa had also not approved of their relationship, yet so she said it would be best if he goes with his grandpa and focuses on his recovery and then return. What happens between Young Seo and Sung Hoon? Did they break up? Despite Young Seo's father appearing as if he approved their relationship, he calls Sung Hoon and tells him to break up with her. She overhears him. Following that, Young Seo decides to hand in her resignation letter to her father, basically cutting ties with him for how he behaved with Sung Hoon and her. 
What does Young Seo do after departing her father's company? Young Seo decides to open her own company. Sung Hoon also helps out by providing funding to help it get off the ground. Sung Hoon also ends up taking a year off as Taemu leaves to the US with his grandpa. It's hinted that their relationship only grew better with time, and they're happily together after he proposed to her. However, it's unclear whether it means Young Seo and Sung Hoon have gotten married already. Did Taemu propose to Harai? Yes, he did. He surprises her at Yura later returning from New York. He comes with a ring, his grandpa had told him not to come back if she says no. He puts the ring on her finger, and she jokingly refuses to say yes, but she's so happy he proposed. She tells him, you better treat me well from now on. Did Taemu's grandpa approve of their relationship? Eventually, he does. She grows on him and despite being apprehensive about it at first, his heart softens due to Harai's personality. He also tells Taemu not to return if Harai rejects his proposal. How does business proposal season 1 end? Harai tries to reach him to ask him about the article. She even decides to use her vacation days to go to New York. As she's about to leave, he arrives in Seoul. He assures her the rumors aren't true, and they embrace. Taemu says the chairman told him not to come back to the States until he gave her what's in the box he's holding. He opens it to reveal a ring, and he proposes to Harai. She accepts, and they kiss. Time skips at the end of a drama series are notoriously difficult to pull off, and it looks like that's no exception for business proposal. The show comes to an anticlimactic conclusion, to say the least. It pulls us out of the ongoing storyline to drop us in the future with little context. I have to admit, I do love to see Mizio and Mr. Jai now married and still up to their antics. But after so much time invested in Young Seo's and Si Young Hin's relationship, we barely get to understand how the couple is doing in this new timeline. The same goes for Chairman Kang, his current condition is left vague, as is the manner in which he came around to accepting Harai. The K-drama simply decided to skip over the conflict with the chairman, in favor of introducing new relevant conflict, in the form of a slanderous article which is resolved almost immediately. Harai and Taemu maintained a compelling chemistry until the end. Though the final, and finally real, proposal didn't happen with nearly as much pomp and circumstances as the build-up would indicate, it was still a sweet and satisfying moment. In the end, it's hard to see these characters go. Even if business proposal storylines have not always been handled consistently, the cast and characters have always been a strong draw. But with this finale, the series comes to a bittersweet end, giving these protagonists the endings they have earned, if not in the methods that they deserved. Has Business Proposal been renewed for Season 2? At the time of writing, SBS has not renewed Business Proposal for Season 2. This isn't uncommon however, given most K-dramas do tend to wrap up their seasons across their allotted runtime. The ratings began with a pretty decent 4.9% nationwide, and has been steadily increasing, with impressive highs of over 10% over the weeks. Given this is a weekday drama, that's really good. Based on this though, coupled with the fact most K-dramas wrap up their stories in a single season, so we predict that business proposal will not be renewed. What we know about season 2 so far, most Korean dramas are reserved to one season, and with the rare exception of ongoing Netflix shows, Love Feed, Marriage and Divorce, Hospital Playlist etc., then it seems unlikely that this one will be renewed. However, there is a possibility that SBS do renew this, depending on how the ending is received from audiences, so we'll have to wait and see. Would you like to see Business Proposal return for a second season? Or do you think the story has run its course? Let us know your thoughts in the comments box.